hi friends what's this ttk bootstrap uh, this window and here is a tabular view we have used or table view so in this just six rows of data we have displayed and you can see by just uh, enabling different parameters you can enable the here the paging of it and because there are number of records are low so we are not able to move to the more pages and we can search also and we can align it and then we can export the data and all these and this column properties also we can manage it now all these are facilities are available in this when you will use the table view we'll understand more about this and move towards different sources to display the table views we'll start from here we have uh, earlier discussed how to install ttk bootstrap that pp install with that commands and all with this previous video we have discussed about that i leave the link there at the description you can follow that so let's first import it pp uh, from ttk bootstrap dot table view import table view we are using that now that this is our main focus where we will be working now in the next line here you are and here before that we have used the constant we have imported because we will be frequently using various colors and all so here is the our main window we have declared my underscore w now let's uh, give some dimension to it my underscore w dot geometry geometry it is the width and height so 400 i'm giving you can change it to any value sorry you will give 300 now you can change to any value this one i'll just leave a comment here width and height now this is our window is blank window is ready now for the because we'll be using colors in our thing because alternate row colors will provide so for that we'll just create one object here when variable will take it colors equal to my underscore w dot style dot colors these are this i'll get a list of colors we'll see how we'll utilize that now here before we move it let me just copy some data from because some rows and columns will create it or let's just save this and see our once our blank window how this looks this is our blank window two lists i will just paste it here one is for our uh, columns at the top and then the rows of data so here are two variables or list here these two i have uh, taken here l1 this contains the list of column headers and this is r underscore set why you are using the name like this because we will be taking the subsequently taking the data from database csv file excel file and various other sources so record set is a common name you can change this name also so here it is and l1 is our name of the list of uh, columns now this list contains you can see the text part is id and name then mark and gender in some cases we have used a dictionary also so the text we are selling and directly without a dictionary also directly string like class we can also use it now here we are give assigned some properties like stretch is true or stretch is false so you can see whether the if the available space is more then this column can stretch and occupy that space if it is not available then it will take the minimum space what is because name can be a longer whereas the mark cannot be more than two digits or three digits so for that purpose we have given the name column we are given stretch is true fine so this is the two variables or two lists we have taken now these two lists will associate with our uh, our table view so for that now db or uh, or whatever name you want to give you can give it dv i am giving this is for uh, table view or better understanding tv i am giving tv is our table view now for this we'll use it ttk dot tab ttk dot table view dot again it's upper k table view now what it is will assign the properties to this so for inside this we'll write the our table view parameters here so first thing we'll say master master equal to what is our mass window is my underscore w what you have declared at line number at the top line number five we have declared it so that we are using it now next after that paginated paginated pagi 
paginated now paginated means now whether you want uh, pagination to be means the all the records to be broken in multiple pages with the navigational link that you will discuss shortly so let's put it as let's give it true why but there is a issue here because we have very few hardly six records so this even if we click also it, it will be one page only so we will understand we will learn more about that so pagination then searchable searchable means we are saying that whether the search bar should appear or not user able to search any data or not we are giving it true now the boot style boot style is there are uh, i think eight varieties of info success primary secondary light all the list is here so anyone we can select it and we'll say let's give success fine so this is uh, our we are given now page size why page size page size has a meaning when you have paginated equal to true because page size if i suppose i have 50 records i want to how many records in the by default first i have to display per page how many records so page size i am giving it 10 so 10 10 chunk of 10 10 10 records will be displayed now page size i have given height height what is the difference between this height and page size height gives us the how many in the viewport in the, within the table how many attestes the records will be displayed say i have given a page size of 10 and a height of 5 in that case five records will be displayed and below that i have to scroll down to view balance five records that is the difference between the height and page size now that is all now we may have a multiple colors for our uh, rows every row will have alternate color for that strip color s t r i p e c o l o strip color equal to it's a tuple now we have to give two different colors so first we'll give let's say what we have understood is colors colors dot light where from this one we got it this is what we have created at line number seven that is what we are using now the other one will we'll leave it because we will not use anything if you want some other color to be used you can use it so alternately we want some different two different colors should come or all the rows so that is why this is the purpose is now this we have finished it now let's place it on a grid so tv or table view grid where it will be row equal to zero now column equal to zero this is the first element or the element so you can use one one also pad x means from the left edge 10 gap we are giving pad y equal to 5 from the top 5 gap we are giving so fine that's all now with this we should able to display now let's okay i just saved it with the same data whatever it is it is now let me run this and see how this looks here it is but there is no data where is my data now for data purpose i will be adding that parameter i have not included now i will be adding that to this we will add two more parameters one is col data col data or column data whatever we are saying that is l1 what is l1 here at the top we have declared it these two variables col data and r underscore set these two lists rather so these lists we are connecting now so col data equal to l1 i'll give a comma next line i will go now row data equal to r underscore set again comma so this is what we have given the now connected to these two lists to the our table view i am saving this and running it again here it is but then why it is uh, okay you can see here id is there name is there it has all gone towards the right side of it so for that we have to use fit the because we have to fit our uh, columns to the available uh, space so what you will say is dv dot auto fit columns now with this sorry not dv it is tv tv or table view auto fit columns now what happens is now this let's just see this you can see here now all these are things and you just see whatever the available space is there name has taken because we have given here the stretches true where it is name column you can see the stretch is true here so we have 
the here now in this i can select it and this you can see the green color because again the we have given the our uh, um, bootstrap style here as success now I, I can change it also now let me just change this to something else primary now let's keep it now i will saving this and going running it again now you can see the color has changed so this is the primary now i can the secondary then there is a list of eight different different styles i can uh, picked up so searchable is true now let's just see how what will happen if searchable is false now i can just change this to remove the top one now let me just check again what it is yeah there is no such pattern and similarly i can give this pagina uh, paginated this also i can make it false so there will be no bottom navigation bar will be there you can see it is not there now one more thing here i have left the space for 10 records because height is 10 and page size is 10 now this height i can bring it down to less than five because i have six records now what happens if i'll put the height as three then rest of the things i have to scroll so let's just change this now let me just paginate it let me make it true height i'm making it as uh, let's say three and page size let it be five okay we'll when you will have more data we'll see manage with the page size now let's just run this you can see now i have only three records one two three three records and one one so i can uh, can i move to the next page and see what are the other records because pagination is true so let's just no it's not allowing me because i have page size i have set it to 10 because once the page size is 10 everything is accommodated in one then where are my four five and six record i can just scroll down you can see four, fifth, and sixth records are there. Now, but what happens if I I'll give less than my uh, page sizes are also three? Then in that case, I will have a I can navigate to another two pages. So I have just saved, I have around six records, but I am displaying three at a time. So I can I should able to navigate it. Now let's just see. You can see earlier this two was not there. Page one of two. I can go to the next page. So this is the next page. Here it is. There is no scroll is not required because my this this at a time it shows that I cannot scroll further because it matches with the three records. Now one more thing. Say I have more records. I want to add a summary sheet here. I want to uh, add the other the stuffs and create a summary and in short a record here how all these things for that sake we'll take the source from a uh, from a database or from a excel phase and all and then accordingly we'll manipulate the data and uh, put a summary row at the end of the records those things we'll learn and that it is better we'll move it to practice up to this point and in the next tutorial we'll see how we'll add a summary sheet how the paging works when we have multiple records instead of directly typing the records here we'll take it from a database and practice with that so i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials and the next part we are going to do that we uh, work with the different sources and more number of records so Please share this with your friends and thank you for watching.